Good morning and welcome back to Nadal and Tobago. We are live on CTV and Talk City 91.1 FM. We're also streaming live on ctvtt.com. Uh, we'd love very much if you were to take advantage of this opportunity to download our CTV app for the very latest in news, current affairs and trending topics on our program. Well, it is time for our Tobago segment this morning. We will be talking to uh, Sophia Cooper, who joins us from Tobago. She's the Special Programs Coordinator, THA Assembly Legislature. Uh, we'll be talking about the ANR Robinson Lecture Series. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. So we are talking about the ANR Robinson Lecture Series. What is this all about? It started a couple of years ago. It was an opportunity for the Assembly Legislature to focus on the legacy that Mr. Robinson would have left behind, being the first chairman of the uh, Tobago House of Assembly, then going on to be prime minister and then president of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And we felt that we could lean on some of the lessons that he would have left behind, as well as putting into context some of the challenges being faced by Tobago and by extension Trinidad and Tobago. So what we've done, we've invited persons to come on and use that as context to explain some of the challenges we're facing today. So we've had in the past um, former independent senator, Dr. Easton McKenzie, we've had uh, Father Clive Harvey, and we've also had former central bank governor, uh, Mr. Ewart Williams. So we've had a collection of people who we think uh, were able to bring some definitive explanation and context to some of the challenges we're facing today. Wonderful. What are some of the topics you all would have addressed in the past? So, for, for example, Mr. Williams, being the former central bank governor, he talked about the economic environment. And at the time, going through some of the austerity measures the country would have been facing, like how do we deal with that? How should we really contextualize some of the the decisions being made at the time and as individuals in this society, uh, what can we do to assist or how should we view those, those circumstances? And how was it received? What sort of response you all would have gotten? It's been excellent so far. One of the things we realize is that people appreciate the information and they appreciate the way it's being done. So while the name of it is the ANR Robinson Distinguished Lecture Series, and it, it gives the impression that you're sitting down kind of in a classroom, it's actually quite engaging. So we've had requests from persons who've attended to actually have copies of the video at the end uh, so that they can have something that they could go through even after. And I think that's an indication that um, what we have has been working so far. And how is the, the lecture series structured? Is it, does it take place over a period of time? Is it a week, a couple of days, one day? The intention is to have it once a year. And so this one day we choose uh, whether it's on the, um, the economic circumstances or any other challenges that we're facing at the time. And we have 40 minutes of uninterrupted speaking by a feature presenter. This year, it's a bit different. We realize that because it's usually in the afternoon, that has presented a challenge for students. Why we do have some students participating, we realize that um, because it's not during school hours, it's kind of hard for them to come in. So we now have a youth session, and that starts at 10 a.m. on Monday, the 4th of June. And that's at the Scarborough Library Auditorium in the Aunt Mitchell Gift Auditorium. The feature presenter is going to be the CARICOM Youth Ambassador, Mr. Dexter Wilson. So he'll do that session all on his own. In the afternoon, however, we have a panel. And the panel will include persons like historian Dr. Rita Pemberton, former Assemblyman Hochoy Charles, and former Assemblyman uh, Mrs. Deborah Moore Miggins. And the idea is that this year, since the theme is realizing the dream then till now, and looking at the changes Tobago can expect with the new bill that's before Parliament, that's the Constitution Amendment, Tobago Self-Government Bill 2018, it's looking at what kind of changes can people expect. Now, remember, in 1980, there was a Tobago House of Assembly Act. There was one in 1996. So Tobago has experienced changes before. The question is, what changes can we expect this time around? And do people really understand what those changes are? So that's the idea behind this year's lecture. Wonderful. Who is invited to this lecture series? It's open to the public. And that's one of the things we want to ensure that always happens. 
this is something that is it falls under our outreach program it's public information we want to ensure that it's done in a way that people feel comfortable to come in to access the content and even after this session has ended that we have it posted on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channel, and in ways that people can easily access that information, whether it's just for going through it to get, you know, just an idea of what the content is, or maybe it's a student who wants to do some research. We want to ensure that that public information is available. Would you say that the youth aspect of it has been somewhat encouraging, uh, seeing that you all decided to, uh, uh, you know, create an entire youth session? Well, I'm definitely excited about it. Uh, Mr. Wilson has been a joy to work with so far. And as the CARICOM Youth Ambassador, I know that he's looking forward to it, um, trying to put his own spin on the session because we've never had this youth session before. And we don't want it to be an exact replica of what the afternoon session is usually like. We understand that we have to make the space youth friendly. And so I know he's going to do his best to ensure that it's engaging in a way that younger audiences would appreciate. So you mentioned the theme there being, is it realizing the dream? Realizing the dream, yes. What led to this, this particular topic? Why now? I think a lot of people would remember Mr. A. N. R. Robinson as being one who looked at the, the, the idea of autonomy within the context of Trinidad and Tobago. And what does that mean today? So when we talk about the current Constitution Amendment Tobago Self-Government Bill that is before Parliament, how do we view that? So we wanted something that would connect us to what Mr. Robinson would have worked towards, but at the same time, link it with something that is current, something that is relevant, and something that people can find currency in. And what would have gone into planning this particular lecture series for this year? It usually requires finding people who are willing, of course, to stand up for 40 minutes or so, <laughs> <laughs> and talking about a topic that we hope that they'll be motivated and, and excited about. Um, but a lot of it has to do with the staff just putting together the, um, the, the, fo the format and showing that we have the speakers, that we uh, encourage people to attend, that people know that it's available and it's out there and that it takes place this year on Monday the 4th of June, 10 a.m. for the youth session, 5 p.m. for the afternoon session, and it's open to the public. Where exactly does it take place? So the Scarborough Library facility is in the heart of town. And in the Scarborough Library facility, there's the Anne Mitchell Gift Auditorium. And coincid coincidentally, Anne Mitchell Gift is a former presiding officer of the Assembly Legislature. So it really ties in nicely mm -hmm. to the entire idea of the Assembly Legislature hosting this event at the library. Is there a registration process? When people attend, there is a registration desk, but you don't have to register before. If you want to come in, Great. If you want to call us an RSVP, it's also encouraged. The office number is 639-2616. My extension is 240. Also, as you are having the youth session, are schools invited to attend as groups? All schools are invited. So although we've opened it up to the public, we wanted to make sure that the schools were aware. So we sent each secondary school an invitation. So they, they are allowed to send 10 students and two teachers. Uh, some schools may ask to send more, and that's OK. We want to make sure that everybody has the information. So definitely, all schools are invited. In terms of the students, what age groups are we looking at? I think we're able to accommodate those who are late primary school as well as all of secondary school. And when I say late primary school, I know that they are the SAA students who might have a little time because exams over and um, they're probably getting ready for graduation. So of course we want to welcome them to do something that is character building. And of course, all the secondary school students who may not have um, exams on that day, we definitely want to welcome them. That's wonderful. And what do you hope people leave with following this lecture series? I think at the end of it, it's always good for people to be able to clearly express how they feel. And we want to be able to give them the information so that they understand what this new bill is about. We know that the, the Parliament of Trinidad and Tobago will be accepting submissions. And We'll be looking for people to review what is on the table at the moment. 
Uh, we want to make sure that people have that information. So this is our way of ensuring that while we meet our mandate regarding the ANR Robinson Lecture Series, that we also make it quite relevant to what is happening today. And for us today, the Constitution Amendment Tobago Self-Government Bill 2018 is definitely something that's relevant. Wonderful. Ms. Krupa, what are your closing comments at this time? To, to just encourage everybody to attend. And if you can't physically be there, we'll be streaming live on Facebook and our YouTube channel. We want to encourage people, if you can't actually be there, the documents are online. The Trinidad and Tobago Parliament website has the bill available. And we have a library, a member's library, at the Assembly Legislature, which is located uptown on Jerningham Street. And we do have copies of the 1996 and the 1980 Acts. So just to give people a comparison of what, um, what each Act and this bill has in it, and I think that's important. So the main encouragement here is be informed, find the information, and let's have a, a discussion about what to expect. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us this morning. Thank you very much. We've been chatting with Ms. Sophia Cooper, Special Programs Coordinator, THA Assembly Legislature, talking, of course, about uh, the lecture series, the ANR Robinson Lecture Series, which takes place Monday, 4th of June. And that number to call for further information, 639-2616, extension 240. Well, we